Welcome back to Stone Hearth. JC here. And last time, we paused just before heading off to deal with another menace. And so off they go. No shit, it's an enemy. Tank! There we go. Tank's got it. Kill five lizards. And a log splitter, yeah. And lizards and a hero. Well, they fell quick, didn't they? Just a big one left. Toot that horn. They just toot the enemy, and then they go. Obviously, they, they hit you harder. No, they don't. What happens is, is they get really angry that you dooted them. You're all good. Head home, guys. Okay, there you go. All good. I'm just going to leave that there. I don't need it. Head home. I'm not entirely sure why there's still combat music. There we go, it finally realised there's nothing there anymore. We murdered it all. Uh, some of those are heading for a medical bed. Some will be heading... One will be heading to the Miller medical bed. The others will be heading to their own bed. So, yeah. One to head here, the other one will probably head over here. Oh, depends on which one's got... Which one remaining has got poison but didn't use the medical bed. How bad is the poison? Mild? Medium. Okay, we've got some medium antitoxin, I think. Medium severity. There you go. We've got some already. So that'll be administered very quickly. Well, at least it should do. That's the problem with Varnus is they poison. It can be a right pain. Oi, herbalist. Drink in a cup of... You're jubilant, that's nice. How about... I'm gonna go out on a limb here. How about you go and do your job and go heal something, not move the items to storage. Stop. Tend to a herbalist planter. Treat wounds! Good! Finally. You can go do your effing job. I mean, one dude's under half health. What are you doing? Cleric. Why are you... Uh, okay, they're being dumb. The cleric is being dumb, so you don't get to do your job for a little while. Okay? He's trying to follow someone who's actually just healing. But they're also wanting to go up. Yeah. Sometimes the AI derps out, and it will force them to follow someone. Even though they want to go off and do something else. They're forced to come back due to the patrol mechanic. Not great. What are you? Oh, you're, you're healing. Okay. They're still poisoned, even though they got treated with... I would say treat the poison. Friend. Treating wounds. Right. You reach into the cupboard and you've pulled out uh, an antidote of some sort, I think. I think that is an antidote, so you're actually going to try and deal with the poison rather than actually trying to heal them. Right, sure. 
Personally, I would have dealt with the uh, with the poison first because that's what's causing the damage. It's like spying in, having little slats in the roof. It's like, hello? Boom! They've been cured, so they're not taking any more damage, which means they'll then heal up naturally. See, this one's going to take a load more damage. Oh, light burn as well. Ooh. Do we have anything for burns? Somewhere down the bottom of here should be. I don't think we have a way of dealing with burns. Have a look. Healing. That's piercing wounds. Cuts. Impact. We've actually got some royal jelly. That's handy. That's for dealing with an infection. Yeah, strangely you can get burnt, but there's nothing unless they use that burn was from requires any bandage or ointment to be treated and will be completely removed. It will also heal on its own time, but it will take some time. Oh, right. It's a low fire based injury. I'm not entirely sure why it got burnt, but... I mean, it's just a simple thing as just apply a po Why? Yep, you're going to use all our potions to go and heal the lump. Is a little amount of health loss? Yeah. Please do prioritize healing the poison first. Because that is a... Yeah, that's a blatant AI issue. Woohoo! Look at that. We've got... got stuff coming. Yay! They're still green, but that one's still good. I think this is one of the ones I still have to manually harvest. Lovely. We've got plenty of that, but I did say we've got some royal jelly. Now, why would that be important? Well, what we do is we come over to here. We go. Weaver, please create one of those. And then herbalist. You may recognize this from a few episodes ago, like a long time ago. So if I select here just to get you out of your misery, there you go. Start a new colony. Order the herbalist to start a new bee colony from this skip. It's, it's a hive. By deploying, uh, by developing some uh, some eggs into a new queen, this action requires one unit of royal jelly. Uh, that's right. We can get more honey. He says, looking at this pile of honey, and this is full. Would you want to do that? Well, reasons. Well, there we go. We've got loads of it growing up now. Everything's all planted other than well, the rice, because the rice is not being planted because reasons. Right, this is totally windy, is completely and utterly neutral. Right, exposed to 95% daylight, which is exactly what it needs. And it has 16.6 .6 water, which is what it needs. So on an average day, fine. That is normal sunlight levels. 
fairly reduced humidity, so it's probably not going to get the water it needs next day. Yeah, the corn's not going to get anything, but I mean, it's still perfectly fine. Four days! Oh, corn takes forever to grow. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, an Orkish war chief. Uh, yeah, North Norwind. Mm. You there? Somebody told me about you. She said you defeated S Ogo Skullbunker. Yeah, that's me. Uh, Great Clan believes that advancement can only come from conflict between equals. Khan is no longer. And where one falls, uh, the stronger and more cunning will rise. Sure, what of it? Oh, I'm here. I see you are not yet worthy to face even the le oh, even the last of my camp's chiefs. Dude, you're gonna get face wrecked. The beard is gonna pummel your face into the ground with a mace. And you're gonna like it. Or you're gonna be dead. Either or, probably the latter. How rude! Hey, you one kind of light seeps from the horizon. We do it, sit back and respect the mark of four colours. Place a scout gong smelted by your metal workers in your territory to mark your readiness for battle. Mm -hmm. Not very much. I, I don't have a scout gong. <clears throat> I actually have to find. That's what the bunny was for, by the way. The bunny's a prelude to try and get to get you kickstarted in case you haven't engaged that type of enemy before. Spoilers. Yeah, that was, that's a kickstarting mechanic. So I'm looking around for some people to go and um, <clears throat> introduce uh, the beard to. This lot looks appetizingly uh ought to be these wolves as well. Doesn't appear to be anybody else on the map. Normally when they spawn, at least to alert you if it's in an area like this, it'll reveal the area around them. Otherwise you're trying to spot something in and amongst all this clutter. Not easy. It is not easy to spot that. Ooh, is that more? Hey, another iron vein right up in the top of here. And another one just there. Oh yes, this was the um, the shortcut to get through here. So what we'll do is we'll place another ladder there. That allows our people to shortcut over to this side of the map without having to go all the way around there. Handy. Next, we place one like that. Pull out the digging tool. And cut that out. I'll do it like that. There you go. And resume that. Okay. That will now allow them up onto this plateau. The military will probably have to deal with the wolfies. And we can get down here. Look! That'd also give us access to an iron vein underneath here. Nice!
so I actually now want some ladders here. Cut that back a little bit as well. And there'll be a step down onto there, there's a ladder down to there. Or you can walk around and down into here. Why do I do that? Well, because there's no iron underneath there, so that's going to always be a step down into there. And then you can just dig the iron out as you need to. There'll be four from here. That's one, two, three. So it'll be all the way down onto this flat platform. So they can either walk down there, I'll chop out some extra bits. Come down that way. Or they can come down the ladder. Whichever they find is quicker or easier. Then there'll probably be another ladder. Well, I mean, probably. We will place another ladder there. Get down, down there, down there, and you gain access to this section back here. What will probably happen is that oh, they'll get around to doing that maybe one or two episodes time, and I will have completely and utterly forgotten I'd done it. I wonder why people are getting hurt. And then hurl abuse at them. That's, that's normally what happens. And then I realise I placed all those things there and then go... You're hungry. We'll, we'll go get some food. Not hard. It's not like we don't have a lot of food. We just don't have a lot of space, apparently, because everybody's hanging around. Plenty of food in there. Oh, we're fine. Okay, now we've got a population of 20. Excuse me, one moment. This is... You're going to have a quick little thing at how you do this to stop that from being a real annoyance. Uh, gameplay. It's, I think it's an ace one. Oh no, it's a stone hearth. It's a stone hearth one. Maximum citizens, 20. That's how you do it. There'll be no more prompts to say, look, here's the daily update. Do you want more people? No, I'm good, thanks. I'd want more normally because once I've gotten all the crafters, I'd need some more haulers and stuff. But because I've got so many of these autonomous golems, I don't really need extra people. Most of the hauling jobs are being dealt with by these little guys who are relentless and tireless. I mean, we got a copper ingot and they haven't pulled that in. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I mean, they still haven't planted the, uh, the rice again. Are they waiting for this one to finish before they'll then plant everything again? That's a real annoyance if they don't get around to all growing up at the same time. Maybe some people turn around and say, well, why don't you get another farmer? Well, that's because I don't want to have another... Shepherd. It's only because they have to go through Shepherd first. Okay, I know that noise. That noise is combat. What's going on? A major open wound. Oh wow, they were already on it. They are already out here. Oh, that is... It was attacking... The beard. Huh. I'll have to see. Watch this. Oh, it does. That mace does inflict major open wound. I think, or is it the hits weapons? Can't really tell. That's the scimitar. Still scimitar in the desert thing. Is it daggers? Okay. The daggers, basically. 
No, that inflicts hamstrung. To know, and that one inflicts out of shaken or out of balance. So the mace that we've got, which we got from a reward, is two better attack than this thing, and still causes the major open wounds. So, all right, fair enough. That's good. I'm not entirely sure where the doggos came from. They came from up here. But... Ah, no oh, doggos here. Kill, maim, and destroy. Oh yeah, they managed to just about dig up some stuff. Ah, this has all gone pear-shaped very, very quickly. Military, we need you over here. Now, stat. Run, you fools! Run! Morons! <laughs> it's just sort of cowers there as this thing just tries to bite its friggin' head off. Boink! Okay, military, you can, um... You can engage everything else. Oh! Poisoned. How on earth did you get poisoned? Unless they never cured your poison. <clears throat> Bet you they didn't cure the poison. Of course. The healer's not on job anymore. I forgot about that. But still responded. Oh, oh they're, they're going in for it. They're going in. The beard has zero shits. Give zero shits, go on. Uh, there you go. Decimate them. Watch as they bounce off his arm. Smack. Get maced. Oh, maced to the face. Dear yeah, friend, you ain't going anywhere. Did uh, these two? This is all gonna go die as well. Oh dear. In you go. Go on, smack it. In the face. Oh, set it on fire first. And now that one. Oh, it looks like the poison has worn off. Oh, yeah. The poison either wore off or was healed through. And nothing anymore. Oh, that's an advantage. There we go. Uh, everything, everything I want dead is now dead. Multi-crafter. Oh. No, I'll keep with excellent crafter, thanks. And can we not drag me camera all the way over there when I was about to go and do something? Do we step up? And then step up again. And then step up. However you want to do it. There we go. Like this. There we go. Right, that sorted that out. <clears throat> so, still, somewhere on this map, there are some hostiles somewhere, because we haven't got the remainder of that quest come through. There's some... some gobolds somewhere on this map that need to be eliminated. Should have just said I'll just heal the guy up. You know, I thought, ah, oh, that'll be easy. They'll just pop up and we'll go murder them. Ha <laughs> ha. They didn't pop up. Oh, 
mean, it'll take a few few goes round, but eventually they'll, they'll get killed off by the, the, the environment. So. Check the edges of the map, then work your way in. We're certainly nowhere in there because we've we've run all the way through to here. Who are? That is weird. Okay, they are. Bunny statue. Big bunny statue. Well, I, I guess, um... They must be really, really, really stealthy. Uh-huh, yep. It's just, um... It just don't exist. What the hell has gone on there? That's multiple iron veins spawning all in the same... That's going to be a massive lump of it. This is Iron Mountain. I'm officially naming it Iron Mountain. Will I remember it? Nope. And what are you off to do? Mining. I mean, if anything gets injured, you can normally t you can spot it a mile away at that point. Huh. Well, I, I guess... Uh, I guess we'll spot it eventually. I'm not going to spend any more time looking for it. Oh, look, trading caravan. Isn't that nice? You got anything that I need for my quest? No, I thought you didn't. Would you like some herbs? Apparently I have an overabundance of them. Well, at least I had an overabundance of them. I've used a lot of them up. You got a lot of these. How much money have you got? Yeah, there you go. You can have the all of it. we have some raiders approaching and oh they're going in so some goblin raiders have approached and the military are already on it there we go lovely trading company you can deal with that right where holy they even have a pet varnus a war varnus Taken as an egg to be a war machine. Holy! Ah, seeker of revenge, forever loyal to Ogo. Okay, chaps, there's gonna be a massive fight outside the door. Go, go, go. Well, there's one already set on fire. It's gonna be a massive scramble for it. Keep the healer safe and just smash the crap out of them all. It seems to be working because they do seem to do some spinning based. Oh god, there's going to be a lot of titles. This is just the first wave, then there's the main wave coming in. Get 
beard's taking a pounding. Been separated from the tank. But their cannon fodder are getting uh, slaughtered. And our healer is just like, yep, no healing. But he's definitely a Final Fantasy XIV healer. He's doing damage as well. Oh dear. Oh well. Ogo's loyal as um had his face caved in. Yeah, there's nothing going on here. And nothing to see here, peeps. Just lots of dead dead dudes. The thing that survived the longest? Varnus. The archers are like, haha, we get to plink you with arrows and then so many titles. So many titles. Well, we're going to pause it right here and have a look at these titles. Right. Beard has achieved a, oh, a lantern mace. Clear. Hey. Clearer. Huh. Uh, killed three enemy leaders. Yep. And the beard, well, the beard now has many titles. Great Protector, Goblin Killer, Goblin Crusher, Riotless, The Relentless. Uh, cut the sound, cut that sound, doink. Take the leaders out. No, the beard is the beard. That is his title, the beard. Game, you do not understand, it is the beard. Well, that was a big, massive attack wave. It did nothing. Uh, 50 goblins. Uh, that's a lot. Bane of goblins. There you go. And one person has been, yes, you guessed it, poisoned. It is the tank. The tank has been poisoned by a medium poison because Varnus. Other than that, it is a sea of stuff, which I'm going to tell them to loot some of it. That looks like a bolt of leather. We'll have that. That's a useful resource. That's an ore. That's useful. Everything else can just litter the outside of our base like some grim reminder of death and destruction. Attack here at your own risk. There you go, right. That's the spoils from there, from the combat. We are just... We're just godlike, actually, I think. Oh, he's already had his poison cured. Oh, that's the beard. Oh, wow, the other dude had the poison cured and just got up and just walked over here. It's just like, bam, done. Oh, off to get some food. The cleric is off to get some food. And, uh... So are the rest of them. They're all off to get some food. That was a massive wave of uh, hostiles that just spawned and ran at our walls and died horribly, as they should. We look over this uh, this desert land with our little hilltop, our little fort, basically, and we go, yep, for Jaff. This is ours. Right, have we got... Ah, there we go. There you go. Place one of those down, because reasons. Oh, we actually made some cider. Good grief. Hold on. There we go. I made that out of silver, didn't I? Huh. Oh, 
Right, that'll allow us to have a continuous flow. That'll allow us to have one in spare in storage while the other one's sitting there. Oh, well, we've already got some apple cider already on the go again, so... Hey! We now have cider, as it should be. Tea and cider. Take your pick, peeps. Eat and drink what you want. So they're mostly just going to stand around doing absolutely naff all. Is my seed one full? No, seed one is not full. Right, let's stop storing all of this stuff in here because it's taking priority over other stuff. I'll eventually file that away wherever it needs to, or it will just sit there until there is space available. I'll keep the golems going for a little while at least. Oh yes, we had another bed, didn't we? Uh-huh. Turn that round. There you go, bed goes there. Somebody will eventually plonk the bed there. <coughs> there we go. And then stand over it like some ominous thing. There we go. Now all the crafters have it, it's just... Seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, a lot. Got like ten more beds to do. Uh, ah! Level six carpenter. Dun, dun, dun. That means we've now got the really fancy bow available, which means all of our military has the best tools that we can make for them. Which is nice. I do see an awful lot of people just standing around doing absolutely naff all. <laughs> Have a look. Are you... Don't have any thread. Okay. You've just made some thread. Good! Well, that now means the carpenter shit, there you go, has now seen... Oh, I can collect all this stuff. Collect all the stuff now, make the composite desert bow. And that thing does more damage than uh, the beard's two handed mace. Aeon! Worth it! Well, let's see. Are they going to actually work on it today, or are we going to have to. Poyos. Oh, we've got some more cheese. I've got to wait until that changes colour. Then we can... So many Poyo eggs around here. It's like, what? Just, just 
end of that thing. I do kind of have to just tell them to just kill that thing off because they shouldn't have gotten there in the first place and they're just creating eggs around the area that are actually spawning more and they're just trapped in this window and nothing can be done. Oh well, All right, on that note, I think we will end slightly earlier than normal. We're doing quite well here. Yeah. Ah. Now select that to be start a new colony. They'll pop that into there. Done. We'll have two loads of bees. Also, that needed harvesting. That's one of the manual harvest ones. But, there we go. We've got something of a storyline to continue on with, as long as I can actually find the enemies to kill, to get the gong to put, to start the process. Uh, somewhere out there, they're out there, somewhere. I just have to try and find them. But on that note, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is JC, out.